protocols protocols are actually these are software but in definition these are pre decided rules when followed by computers they actually are able to transfer the data for every different type of data there are different type of protocols which are enforced using software so understanding of why a protocol is essential for communication between computers if there are no preset rules if there are no protocols all computers are following different operating systems they are following different hardware they are following different connection methods how they will be able to exchange data when they don't know the language of other computers in the world while we are accessing data from facebook do we know that actually we are accessing data from a computer which is unix based or a super computer or mini frame or main frame we don't know yet we are accessing data from it this is because what we are following protocols what is that protocol http the internet protocol the tcp ip protocol all right let's open up notes see from there so what is a protocol a set of rules governing the way the devices communicate with each other it is preset this preset preset set of rules and there are so many protocols if you want to access one of the drive or you have got a drive at office you want to access at home then the protocol is called file transfer protocol it will open the content of your office drives like they are there in your own computer and you are manipulating this is called ftp protocol http protocol it enables you to interact over the internet using tcp ip pop3 this is point of presence sometimes it is post office protocol version 3 whatever it is it means that how you actually receive the data in email if it is private email this is not web based email if it is gmail or hotmail or something then the protocol is called smtp oh this is not smtp this is uh, pop smtp uh hold up i m a p that is a different thing i m a p so if it is web based it is i m a p 
if it is not web based it is personal then pop we use pop to retrieve and smtp to send email back now what is port every email sorry every ip address we know that what is ip address ip address is the address of every machine over the internet so other machines could contact with this every ip address like to this room there are three doors to enter similarly if you want to attach to an ip address you would have to use one of the port of that ip address and one ip address has got ports as many as to 2 to power 16 two bytes means you can attach to single ip using 65536 ports so that is how we define port this is an ip address this is port after colon we mentioned the port and together ip address and port is called socket we use firewalls to control these sockets every software in the world is accessing their server let's say you have got this facebook installed over your cell phone or your computer and you are accessing that facebook the port would be predefined you can browse the internet to know and you can block that port if you don't want your fellow students to access that that is how schools are actually blocking access to Facebook or other websites. They just mentioned that in their firewall that which port needs to be blocked. Once the port is blocked, that software cannot be working. If you have played that counter strike, you know certainly what ports are. So all these protocols are working through certain ports. Without ports, they cannot work. Then these are explained. And then this one is important. TCP and IP protocol. These protocols enable your internet. It is. TCP transmission control protocol, TCP is responsible for breaking down data into small packets before they can be sent over a home node network and for assembling the packets again when they arrive. This happens at the level of your NIC card, LAN card, network card. Internet protocol, IP takes care of the communication between computers. It is responsible for addressing, sending and receiving of data packets over the internet. Communication between computers on a network is done through protocol suits. The most widely and used suit is TCP IP. A protocol suit consists of layered architecture. Remember I said what, when I, 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 I tried to tell you that what is the difference between SSL and TLS, added layer of security. The most widely used and available suit is TCP IP. A protocol suit consists of layered architecture where each layer depicts some functionality. At application layer, it works your application. Application is depending over HTTP, FTP, SMTP, SNMP, whatever. Then you have got transport layer. This layer provides backbone to the data flow between two hosts. This is like the road. Then we have network layer. This layer is known as internet layer. The main purpose of this layer is to organize the, or handle the movement of data on network. It's like traffic police. Data link layer. This layer is also known as network interface layer. This layer normally consists of device drivers in the operating system and the network interface card your card and related software that is data link layer and how these layers work they layer this way they work this way sorry so you have got one application data goes to transport layer the network layer the data link layer 
this is the media through which it is being transferred do not pay attention to this figure now just leave it and when it comes back it comes back this way all right other way around data layer then to the network layer then transport layer and application layer what i want is you should be knowing few of the protocol names and their work the related task secondly you should be remembering all these layer names internet works and layer and what happens at at, at each layer it is necessary okay and then we have peer to peer network peer to peer network we all use what bit torrents that is peer to peer network peer to peer networks means there is no server involved all computers are actually directly handling each other and there are terminologies attached and these terminologies are we have seeds we have torrents there are so many terms let's discuss few of them first one is torrent a torrent can a torrent can mean either a torrent metadata file or all the files described by it what does that mean it means a torrent tells that in your area how many computers are having this file and from all those computers you can pick a little part of the file and you can download it simultaneously we know that if we are downloading from one computer we might have not that much bandwidth from that one computer but if you break it down you are downloading the same file but different parts from different parts from different computers where those computers where those computers are how these computers will be linked what parts will be downloaded are all listed in torrent then we have swarm s w a r m swarm together all peers sharing a torrent is called a swarm together all peers what are peers peers are the computers which are actually bit torrent clients means a peer is one instance of bittorrent client running on a computer on the internet to which the clients connect and transfer data so what is a peer a computer which is actually accessing the data and not just accessing the data the data which is being accessed can also be uploaded simultaneously because they all peers by the rules by the law what is being downloaded will be uploaded as well so if we collect all the peers together this is called a swarm okay and then we have leech leech has two meanings often leech are synonyms with downloader simply describing a peer or any client that does not have 100% of the data which is actually downloading okay the term leech also refers to a peer that has a negative effect on the swarm by having very poor share ratio means the computer which is uploading is actually uploading at the slower speed this is also called a leecher all right what you have to do you have to read the whole thing what is peer to peer networking you need to understand and then what is bit torrent how it works what are the terminologies attached with bit torrent there was a question last year related to this bit torrent 